Let me take you back. Way back. Back to the decade we literally just escaped from. All the way back to 2010, back when Assassin's Creed was still good and we were blessed with Iron Man 2 for the DS. What a time to be alive, I'm sure you're saying. But what about the casual Nickelodeon fan? Well, this was after the great purge of shows, so basically you had Spongebob, and Spongebob was busy being kinda shit, so... What were Spongebob fans to do other than sit at home twiddling their thumbs saying Why Papa? Why can't there be a Spongebob massive multiplayer online game like the worlds of Warcraft and Spore? To which Papa would reply, now listen here you ways of space, you clearly haven't read Giga Media's Limited's most recent press release. What are you, like eight? So yeah, 2010 was a weird time, only made weirder by the sudden announcement that <clears throat> Uh, MTV Network Asia and Giga Media to co-develop world's first Spongebob MMO. Now wait, uh, h hold on a minute, wait. Let me just peruse my collection of- Well there's no MMO here! We are thrilled to join forces with Nickelodeon and MTV Networks International to bring the joy and delight of Spongebob to online game players around the world. Spongebob is unquestionably one of the world's most popular animated television series. This is most definitely after the Great Perch. Then wait, hold on. So you're telling me that there is a Spongebob MMO out there that no one has ever even brought up? <laughs> well, I mean, let's check it out. Damn it! Well, it's clearly no more, but with this information out there and with some help from an extremely dedicated follower of all this business, let me present to you the story of the forgotten Spongebob MMO, Spongebob Town. So Spongebob Town was a browser-based MMO licensed by Nickelodeon published by Giga Media and developed by a company named Blue Arc. The plot of this game is laid out on an archive of Blue Arc's website. The mayor's dark scheme has jeopardized the city of Plankton into a huge explosion. I don't think English is their first language, just saying. Mr. Krabs, seeing the big cash opportunity, gathers up people for reconstruction business. So immediately I'm getting some Simpsons tapped out vibes with the story. They go on to say, Spongebob Online brings the world of Spongebob to an MMO game experience. It is a social platform where many players can interact with each other while enjoying diverse games together. Then they specify in the genre there is a browser based 3D social game with no required download and would work on most browsers. They specify that it is not just a single game, they saw it as more of a platform than anything, which is pretty interesting. They then also titled the game as Spongebob Online, one of many weird inconsistencies around this game. It was slated for a 2012 release date. Now this is where we get the majority of our information. We got our first look at the game from some short announcement trailers that bounced from calling it Spongebob Town and Spongebob Online. In the trailer we see you can change Spongebob's clothing in a specific area called Pearl Department. Then we have Spongebob doing some stuff in a fenced off area with the text Build Your Paradise, Enjoy Party Life at My Farm. Alright, I suppose that leans into what we know of the story so far. From what we can tell, you build different stuff which gives you different like things to do, like using the merry-go-round and the basketball hoop. Then the majority of the trailer is made up of a racing segment. If this ever came out, it would have most definitely been remarkably diverse in its playstyles. One of the last remaining archives of information about this game is their Twitter page, which has been dead since June of 2014. The posts are pretty weird to look back on, only a few have any relevance to the game in any fashion, and most are just glorified ramblings. It's kind of weird. Still without much information, it was difficult to pin down exactly what this game was, but luckily for us, there is an extended trailer, this time being labelled as Spongebob Online. This trailer shows the characters moving around using the bus, similar to Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, catching jellyfish and replacing buildings with different types before entering one and accessing an interior designed location with two floors. We then see a more type area that obviously would house the fashion room and maybe more stuff. We then get the same racing clip as before, before lastly seeing Patrick walking around in an area with other players. From this gameplay I think we can finally nail down what this game was trying to do exactly. So from what I can tell, you would pick a character, then you have the big explosion that destroys Bikini Bottom, and you were tasked with rebuilding it. You were given an area called your quote unquote farm, where you can build streets, buildings, catch jellyfish, and play mini games. You can then also go inside your buildings and completely design their interiors, similar in a way to The Sims. Have you gotten tired of that? Well, why don't you head over to the mall and spend some time and some clams you've earned uh, to buy some nice clothes. Then you head into the social area, show off your new look to other players and engage in some different mini games. Racing was clearly a large focus as there are some screenshots of you being able to customize your car. So from those trailers, that's what I've been able to work out. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but that seems to be the way things were going. 
But what about those screenshots? A handful have solidly been put together over time, and I've got a few here. This one showing off a different room design, some racing and some stuff that can get in the way, more of a look at your personal farm area I presume, then we have an area where pumpkins and stuff are growing. It was clearly leaning towards that farming Facebook game type of market. Makes the, the name farm make a little bit more sense. Some more in Pearl's department, the mall. I honestly have no idea what's going on here, but hey, at least uh, you get XP for it. One of the official art banners created for the game. This looks like the original character creation screen at the beginning of the game. Some more official artworks that really show the focus on racing, a Halloween event, a map that kind of proves my original thoughts correct, your farm being a separate area to other online interactions that would happen in Sponge Square. We then get some more looks at the area customization, and look at that campsite! We then get another look at the social area. Well, damn, that's, um, that's all my screenshots I've got. But there's still so little we know about the game. Why did it get cancelled? How did it play? Well, you can thank YouTube Let's Plays for this next segment. A whole 11 part series from back in 2012 of Spongebob Town. As explained by the creator, these were recorded during the game's first and last closed beta test, which it was swiftly cancelled after for unknown reasons. Let's take a look and see if my predictions were correct. Through this video, we get a good look at the start screen. We then get the game's basic story delivered to us in text on a loading screen with no mention of any explosions or evil plans, which is once again another inconsistency with this game. It's then shown the different things you can do at the farm um, as of the closed beta. You could grow stuff, invite friends, and build your own amusement park. It's then displayed at the top that there are three different types of currency. The maker of the videos, Ultimate SpongeBob 101, seemed to believe that there would be some form of premium currency of a faction. We then get some more information um, about the racing, you can use items, design your own car, and apparently they didn't need to tell us much more. We then get a look at Pearl's department, they then show Conch Street, which is an area I didn't really bring up. Apparently this area was focused on more social stuff, and apparently working at the Krusty Krab. There is also a map on the top right hand corner, so this area would have been pretty large in reality. In the characters tab, they only have Spongebob, Patrick and Squidward, which is pretty weird to me. Then again, it is a closed beta, so you can't imagine there being a ton of characters. There is also some info on the events tab, which says the first technical test would begin on the 20th of October. We then get a look at some of the wallpaper designs, some of which have been lost to the ages, sadly. He then goes to show us the pages on um, Twitter and Facebook, which have some screenshots and stuff. The Facebook, I believe, is closed now too, so this is our only real look at it now. <laughs> We then get a good look at the character creation, which seems pretty restrictive to just those three main characters. There's no way that that would have worked for the full release. Okay, we're, we're, we're done with that now. Now for the game. We are greeted by Mr. Krabs after arriving at the bus stop. You're finally here. I've been waiting for you. Bikini Bottom can be a crazy place if you don't know your way around. The characters speak in a Sims-esque type of gibberish, which is fine, but it's, it's a little bit disappointing. We get introduced to our farm, we are then given quests and explains the reward system. After completing some tasks, you quickly begin leveling up. If you ever get bored of farm life, you could quickly take a bus over to any of the other areas, such as Sponge Square, and walk around using your mouse as a pointer. Well, for a beta, the game at least seemed interesting. I think it would mostly have been held back by the fact it was a browser game, and they seemed hell-bent on not having any downloads or anything. So I doubt you'd ever get a reasonable frame rate, especially if your farm began to expand or anything like that. The elements they had here are reasonably interesting, and I'm sure 11-year-old Chester probably would have loved this. But looking back on it, it definitely has some similarities to that SpongeBob Moves In app, which wasn't particularly good. The most interesting part of the game are the social aspects, similar in ways to what I know about that Club Penguin game. So why didn't it come out? They did a beta test to most likely get some feedback and stress test the servers, but why didn't it release? The body of the work seems to have already been completed. Well, I think it's simple if you just Google this game, really. It was releasing in 2012, yet there are no articles, no first impressions, posts on Reddit, no reviews, 
Outside of the short series, no gameplay, no one was talking about this game because no one was really pushing it. Outside the trailer and the social media pages, there was little to no push on this game, and I can't imagine the stress test being successful in the slightest. Also, you have to think about the parents too. What parent would let their young child create a login with their email, possibly have a credit card linked to the account for premium purchases, and also be okay with them hanging out and talking to other people on the servers? It's like a parent's nightmare. We don't know what type of protection was put in place to avoid kids divulging login info and stuff like that. If I was a parent, I would not have let my six-year-old use this game, especially with such little info known about the developers or publishers or anything like that. I believe the game flopped hard on its beta and they pulled the plug. Blue Ark later retooled aspects of what they had into a later SpongeBob app game, so at least the work didn't go completely to waste. So that was the story of the SpongeBob game that was lost to time due to a poor advertisement scheme and a handful of other issues. I honestly believe this game could have been very popular if it had been pushed correctly, but sadly it never was, and it's unlikely we'll ever see anything like it again. Thank you very so much for watching this video. All the information and resources used in this video were given to me by Sponge Is 5 the creator of the SpongeBob Town Hunt Discord group, where he and a handful of others have been gathering info about this game for a long while. Thank you so much to him for all the information. If you want to learn more about this game, follow the link in the description uh, to his Discord. Links to the Let's Play series will be included too. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Mwah.